All right, all right. I'm J-Rod and welcome to Stocks That Rock. Each week, I turn up the volume on a breakout stock or crypto that will rock your retirement account. As you probably know, Bitcoin has been all the rage in the second half of 2021, thanks to the arrival of the first Bitcoin futures ETF in October. And with a gain of 97% on the year, as I speak, the Bitcoin bulls have a lot to be thankful for. But this week is the coin's most important of the year. It's make or break for the world's largest cryptocurrency. And in today's video, I'll reveal why this week is such a big deal and where I think Bitcoin goes from here. So first off, why is this week so important for Bitcoin? Well, the coin is sitting at a major inflection point on its weekly chart. As I pointed out in a video a few months ago, Bitcoin broke out of a lengthy downtrend and pushed to a new all-time high. But the coin rolled over last week and broke down below that previous resistance around $60,000. And depending on whether Bitcoin can reestablish support at this level, we could be looking at a big drop or a huge pop. My bear case for Bitcoin is a drop of 20% to its 50-week moving average if it can't hold $60,000, which on a price basis is about $48,000. But if the coin can retake 60,000, my bull case for Bitcoin is $90,000. That's the crypto's $30,000 range added to the top of the $60,000 breakout point. And ultimately, an upside for you of 50% from where it's trading right now. Now, seeing this and hearing this, you're either terrified or thrilled about the chart I've just shown you. But here's why I think Bitcoin's breaking for the bulls. For starters, the fourth quarter is historically very good for Bitcoin. Since 2015, the crypto averaged a 15% plus pop in October, November, and December respectively. By comparison, over the same period, the S&P 500 hasn't mustered a double digit gain or even a high single digit gain in any of these months. And the end of November is typically very strong for Bitcoin as well. Over the last six years, Bitcoin has seen a roughly 20% pop on average in the last week of the month. And best of all, in December, Bitcoin ended in the green four of the last six years. In fact, in each of these four years, Bitcoin popped more than 20%. How did stocks fare, you ask? As you can see, the S&P 500 came nowhere close to catching up to Bitcoin over the same period. Now, as I pointed out earlier, there is a chance that we could see a sustained breakdown in Bitcoin. But from a downside perspective, the 50-week moving average has provided strong support to Bitcoin all year long. And with many retail investors just getting into crypto for the first time right now, I'd expect a slide to the 50 to be short-lived and for us to see a rocket-like rebound from that moving average. So to recap, this is a big decision week for Bitcoin. But given the coin's historical super strength in the last few months of the year, I think Bitcoin tilts in favor of the bulls and closes out the year strong, likely lifting up all the crypto boats along with it. So if you haven't already taken a position, now would be a very good time. Thanks so much for watching my video this week. If you dig the content, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Rich Retirement TV YouTube channel so you never miss out on my videos. And if you've got a question or comment, leave a comment below this video or shoot me an email at askjrod at stpaulresearch.com. I would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching this video. On this very special Thanksgiving week, I'm so thankful to have you as a viewer and for the opportunity to help you live a rich retirement, teaching you about trading with breakout stocks and cryptos. So to you and yours, happy Thanksgiving. And for Rich Retirement TV, I'm J-Rod, and I'll see you next time.